All right, uh, I've tried this video a number of times. I'm trying to cram like the whole explanation of everything into the video is not working. So I'm gonna try to make this really short and sweet. I really just want you to try this thing um, that I built. This thing is called Well Grounded. Um, if you um, uh, uh, go to uh, Explore GPTs and then search for Well Grounded, you can find it uh, in there. And then you can do something like this. You can you know, take a screenshot of a post and, and put it in there and upload it. Now, why would you want to do that? Um, I think there's going to be a tendency to see this thing that I've built as some sort of automated fact checker. It's not an automated fact checker. What it's trying to teach you to do is to analyze arguments, which I have become convinced is one of the missing literacies uh, that we have right now. Uh, everybody talks about misinformation as, as bad facts, but what's really going on is that we're having bad arguments. We're having arguments that aren't productive because they're just structured in these ways that make sure they're not productive. Let me give you an example here. This here is uh, something uh, saw online. Imagine if California allocated all this water to fires instead of dumping it to the ocean. Now you could ask yourself, is this true? Is this false? But I don't even know what that means with a post like this. Like, what does it mean to say that this is true or this is false? And what really matters to us, what really matters to us is that there is a larger claim being made here that California's mismanagement of water resources has somehow caused or intensified uh, some of these wildfires that we saw. And the thing about that is, even if you think this post is dumb, which, like, I'm going to be honest, I kind of do, that argument is an important argument, right? That's an important argument. Uh, you know, if California could manage its water resources better and reduce these fires, like, that's something we should be talking about. That's something we should be figuring out if that is the case. This, however, this, however, is not a way to get to that understanding. And what this will show you is, is why that's the case, right? Uh, so the inferred claim here is California mismanages its water resources uh, uh, by allowing excess water to flow into the ocean, which could instead be allocated to mitigate fires, right? And what it's gonna do here is something called a Toulmin analysis. Um, maybe I'll make this a video series and show you a little more about uh, how Toulmin analysis is work, analyses work. Um, but what it does is it infers the claim, right? The claim here is really about mismanagement resulting in the fires, right? Or uh, increasing fire intensity, right? Um, and then it looks at the image. And the image here is a photograph uh, of water discharged from what appears to be a spillway. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, this implication that this represents a failure of water management policy. Uh, in the warrant here, the assumption that connects the evidence to this larger point about mismanagement maybe intensifying fires is that the water discharged here from dams or other water systems could be re redirected to fires to support other water needs, right, uh, in, in California. Okay, so the question that we have when we look at that, right, the question we have when we look at that is what are the assumptions that connect that piece of evidence, right, to that claim? And this is how I want people, this is what I want people to learn to do. And this models that for you. It shows you how to go about that, right? And so there are a couple assumptions, right? We're assuming that that water is immediately accessible and could be effectively transported, right, for those needs, right? We're assuming that California's existing water policies uh, prioritize water release uh, over alternative uses without reason. That, that there's an assumption here that if California is doing it this way, it's just waste. It's not, there's no good reason behind it. Um, when the reality is there's probably some sort of resource contestation at play, right? There's probably a reason, right? Um, in assuming wildfires represent an urgent and preventable problem that could be mitigated with more water resources, is assuming that when we look at what happened in Los Angeles, that water resources were the main problem and not something else, right? Um, so, like, once we get to the argument, once we start to look at the argument and the assumptions of the argument, if we, if we engage with that, we start to learn more about the larger problem, rather than just taking this 
thing and sort of batting it back over the net if we uh, you know agree uh, you disagree with it or like taking it in as this precious piece of evidence that proves we're right um, if we agree with it we actually start looking at the structure of the argument analyzing the argument and thinking about these assumptions and then maybe we can get a little further with it here now it does uh point out some rebuttals right so if this is the argument um you know one point would be that water discharge is a managed process that often does things like prevents flooding which is kind of important um uh that there are infrastructure challenges it's not just a case that there's a switch and we click the switch and the water like runs down to a faucet somewhere in los angeles uh that there's infrastructure you know, there's storage right there's transport right um there's also this fact here right that combating wildfires uh involves strategic water use and these sorts of discharges might not be practical. They might not be useful for that purpose. Uh, and then finally, like, we got to know, like, what are some of the other uses that this water is going to? Now, this here is maybe a discharge into the ocean, right? But, like, there's, there's more stuff that we need to know. Uh, and so if we really cared about the argument, no matter what side of this we're on, if we really care about the argument, we want to learn a little more about this stuff. Right. If we just sort of take something, meme it, throw it at the opposition, and then the opposition just takes their little evidence racket and like swats it back at us, like none of us get any smarter. Right. Whereas if we look at this, if we say, you know why, you know why this doesn't make sense, and we learn why it it might not make sense, we learn something about the larger argument then we can get smarter instead of just getting what seems to me to just be dumber and dumber over time online. And so this is what it's trying to do. This is trying to slow us down and say, hey, look, instead of just rejecting this thing or embracing this thing based on whether it supports your point, let's do a little thinking about why this might not be great evidence or why it might be good evidence. Uh, and let's use that to get a little smarter about some of our assumptions, about some of the uh, underlying factors in the argument. Let's engage with the argument, not just not just like hammer each other and pummel each other with a million pieces of fire hose of evidence that doesn't seem to ever move us any closer to any sort of consensus or deeper understanding or anything more than just a, 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 in, an enduring smugness. <laughs> online that everybody else is stupid and we're the only ones that are right right so it's trying to have i oversold this have i understood am i getting off track here i want people to learn to analyze arguments because i think we are drowning in evidence and we are losing the argument in the sense that not that we're losing but in the sense that we're losing track of what this whole collecting evidence and refuting evidence, we're losing track of what it's supposed to be about, which is everybody getting smarter uh, over time. And so this is what does that, right? This is what does that, you know, and it ends not with a verdict, right? It ends with, okay, like if you really wanted to make this point about wildfires in water management in California, here's some things we might want to see. Here's some things we might want to get smarter about, right? Um, like, you know, you could probably make that point. You can't, just can't make it with this. You got to make it with something else. Um, so that's the idea here. Now, again, if you want to find this, if you want to use this, um, I will try over time to talk a little more about this Toolman method, which is a, a way of seeing the bigger argument instead of getting lost, you know, in the details. Um, for now, like, I really would love it if if you went you got into Explore GPTs, you downloaded this, you played around with it. I'll show you some cooler things about it uh, over time. Um, but uh, I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty cool. Um, and it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't give you a fact check, but it, it slows you down and it makes you think about like, what's actually going on here? What are my assumptions? What would I need to know to evaluate that? And I think that's good. And that's why I want you to use it. So. I don't know, um, maybe like for the 2025, uh, we could all make a uh, resolution to try to engage in better arguments. And um, maybe that could have some 
beneficial effects for everybody, but at the very least, just give the tool a try. Uh, I, I, you know, I worked a bit on it and I really, really like where I've gotten with it.